All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass, and today we've got another... Why? I don't know, because I love weapons and anything that can take something out. You you never know what you might use these for. It could be uh, the, the giant brain in the movie uh, Inv In Invaders from Mars, you know, with the kid and the, the giant weird crocodile walking four-legged with high heel legs. I don't know what was up with that. That's really weird. But Or turkey. It could be that or a random deer in a field when you're on your way to work. You just finish that cup of coffee and you're really going. Could be a home intruder. But whatever the case may be that you need such weapons, I've got another one for you. And this one is the Mini Striker. And the Mini Striker is very <laughs> very crazy so for the for the magazine on this one it's real simple a repeater it's a repeater so you fire a shot loading it's quite simple you just drop the bolts right in here you've got a whole assortment of broadheads you can put on these these are the razor uh, the razor broadheads you could load these up uh, this one holds five, and you can attach all kinds of stuff. I've got, you know, the flashlight, the laser, the red dot. Uh, I've got all that stuff incorporated on there. That's the mid-10. I just slapped the mid-10 on there. And you've got a whole rail system under here, forward grip. Uh, you can also get stocks for these. Uh, some of the ones I have have stocks on them that fold out. Uh, so you can also apply this. This is William Tell Archery. Uh, for those of you that are looking, and I'll have some links below so you can go check them out. Today, I didn't want to just shoot just, you know, a target or whatever. I'm going to do a bulletproof vest. And I like doing the bulletproof vest because it gives you more of a idea of just how far it's actually going to go through someone if you do end up in a home invasion situation. But if it, if it can go through a bulletproof vest or somewhat go through a bulletproof vest, you know kind of gauging what that's going to do to somebody else. So we're going to give it a shot with this mini striker. All right, I'm all set up. Let's give this thing a try. I'm going to turn on some stuff. I don't need my flashlight on, obviously. Does that actually work? There we go. Just to make sure, I don't want to... I definitely don't want to miss that. Go through something else with it. And that's it. It's loaded. You take your safety off. Now let's see what it will do to... There's one. Last one. That's a good group. Now, let's take you to go see how bad it is. Because they all look like they went in pretty deep. Alright. I know, it's all over the place. Razor, it went, it stuck. It's stuck to the target. It's stuck to the target. They all went through. Every one of them. So this this bulletproof vest will stop up to a 44 Magnum. Anything other than that is going to break break your organs on the inside. Um, the only reason why these stopped is because this background here is designed to stop uh, uh, to for rifles and things like that to go through so that's why it stopped but for those of you that want to question if this would work for home security as you can see
that went all the way through. And I think if you just gave them a little push, you know, just a little wiggle, they'd probably all go through. So that would answer anyone's question about how lethal these are. Uh, this one's traveling probably close to 400 feet per second and uh, give or take between that and 350 feet per second. And that's what it does to this target. Now let's do a little uh, trial on that uh, target over there. I just want to see what my groups would be on that. Bring you back over here. Say they're a little bit further away. I'm just going to drop them in one at a time. Loading's not that hard for those of you that want to do this. I think I missed that one. Your laser's a bit high. <laughs> Is it a bit high? Do yeah. you know if it's high or low? Your laser's. <laughs> Way too high. You're gonna have to go like a foot up higher to get the center. There he is. Ah, must have been just too shaky. Oh, shut your face there over you there. There you go, get that vulture out of the sky. Oh, winky. <laughs> Come here, you vulture. All right, let's go see what I hit. I can't believe I just annihilated a bulletproof vest. I could have used that for protection as long as I'm not getting shot with a crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all the way through. This is a very thick target. It's all the way through. Went completely through it. Uh, as you can see, well, I better bring you over. You can't really see. There's my groups. People always get mad if I don't show the groups. Oh, yeah, show the groups. Let's see, all the way through. Well, yeah, it's about three inches, three inches of penetration there. So <laughs> that's what she said, right? <laughs> Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> so, someone out there is going to be like that's what she said mm -hmm. anyways whatever okay just trying to add some humor, humor to this okay there you have it that is your William Tell archery and uh, I will have links below so this would answer your question see now before I've shot things just like this and I never used the razor broadheads and I keep telling you guys just get razor broadheads, give it a try, and this is the same broadhead that's used in several videos, taking down wild boar and everything else with after about three shots. So uh, it will penetrate just about anything that comes at you. So just keep that in mind. So this this is very very lethal. And for those of you that keep commenting, I'm going to get my kids one of these. Don't get your kids one of these things. This is for an adult or a uh, very mature teenager. Okay. All right. God bless. Take care.